Welcome back, guys, to Nino Kuni, where after getting Kublai's confidence from him, we head back to Denny to supply him with it. After facing his nightmare and fighting off, hello, Kublai the dog, we're here for our dragony friend who loves track and field. Right, Wally boy, time to hand over that confidence. Let's give it to him indeed. Huh? What? What are you doing? Myrtle? Danny! I can feel it! The pain in his heart is disappearing! Woof! Hey boy! You're here too! I'm so sorry! I've caused everyone needs so much trouble! It's not your fault! You were... Uh... My... My heart! It feels so light! Like a weight has been lifted! You did this, didn't you? He did! He did the same for me, Denny! Oliver knows how to use magic spells! Huh! I'd be surprised hearing that from anyone but you, Myrtle! Wait, no, I, uh... Yeah, don't worry, Oliver! He doesn't actually believe her! That owl, woof! You're right, Kengus! We need to get back in training! But, but, but Denny, your leg! Are you sure you should? Ha! <laughs> that? It was just a scratch! I can't sit around feeling sorry for myself because of that! The longer I sit around, the faster the others get! can't let them beat me. I have to make the cut next time. Ha <laughs> That's the Denny I know. Good luck! Ha! <laughs> Thanks, but I won't need it. Come on, boy, it's training time. I can feel myself getting slower by the second. Woof! Crikey! He doesn't look too slow to me. He missed the gate as well. Ha! <laughs> Looks like he's forgotten all about his injury. That's the power of the heart. He did it again, Oliver. Thank you so much. It wasn't me, Myrtle. It was Denny. His heart was strong enough to make it. I just gave it a helping hand. You really are a hero, aren't you? Maybe even a handsome prince. What? Cut it out, Myrtle. Hey, I sure hope Denny makes the state championships, don't you? Ha! <laughs> of course I do. Ha! <laughs> won't be easy, but something tells me he'll make it. Of course he will, especially now we've helped him on the way. Oh no! I have to get back to the store. Huh? What's wrong, Myrtle? I was in the middle of opening up. Miss Layla will be so mad! Who? You were working? Jeepers! You need to get back there! <laughs> She's just as easily distracted as someone else I could mention! Oh yes? And who might that be? It seems they've got some kind of romantic thing going on? I don't know, it seems to be playing that way personally to me, but... Head back to Layla's store? We gotta actually go visit Myrtle there? Okay then! With Denny cured and off on his run. I don't understand how he doesn't get the track and field team in the first place, mind you. He's running and practicing every day. I guess there's natural talent for it and not having it. But training, he's training so much, he should surely reach the cut. Right then, let's cross the road and not get run over. Pray, pray, pray. Good. No cars came. Miss Drippy gets to live another day. Hopefully you're not in trouble, though. I'm so sorry, Miss Layla. I didn't mean to leave the store like that. Myrtle, dear, where have you been? I was worried about you. Look, it's Esther and the other one. He? <laughs> and who might you be, sweetie? This little lady's been around an awful lot lately. Huh? What little lady? There you are. Hello, Oliver. I've been looking for you. P? P? She's here somewhere? Ah, is she a friend of yours, Oliver? Now I'll leave you two and get back to work. See you soon. Well, it looks like you found who you were looking for, dearie. I'll leave you with Oliver, shall I? Thanks, Miss Lena. Have a nice day. Oliver, I have to tell you something. I'm sorry, P. What is it? Huh? Who's he saying sorry to? Oliver, the slivery one and the doggy one and the bony one. They're coming. The keepers. You have to be careful. Uh, I, I don't understand, P. Yes, you do. Just be careful. Okay, P. I'll try. Huh? What? Who are you just talking to? Huh? Oh, gee, I'm sorry. You don't know about P yet, do you, Swain? She's a funny little girl, I know. I see her here in Motorville sometimes. I've seen her in my dreams, too. We can't see her. No, I still can't figure out why. Do you know why P... Huh? She's gone! She always does this. What's wrong? Did she disappear again? Uh-huh. 
And I didn't understand what she was trying to tell me. Ha! I think I get it. Get what, Drippy? Well, more as well than that lot can't see us from our world, right? So that means P probably can't see us a lot either, innit? It's the same, but the other way round, you mean? That's right. It's not so weird when you think about it, eh? Has not been able to see someone from another world? Uh, it's not? Oh, who cares? As long as you can see her, eh, Ollie? Yeah, I'm all worried about going and seeing how Tengri's doing. If your guess was right, Oliver. Hello, though. We sorted Denny out, so Tengri should be able to fly again. Tidy. You're right. Let's go check on Tengri. And so yet another gateway was made. Back to another world. I've got to wonder how these people are like, oh wait a second, there's a boy disappearing in the middle of the street. That's fine. It's Oliver. He comes and goes when he chooses. No one checks on him in his house for those long occasions that he's missing. But certain theories are a bit debunked when people start to be able to hear the other voices. It seems like the worlds are somewhat blurring together, wouldn't you say? At this point in time? Possibly. Is there not a third world as well? The one that P comes from, Oliver can see, but the others can't. That's the only thing that makes sense to me at the moment. More dimensions, which means more soulmates. I think in actual Japan culture, there's something about um, you having doppelgangers or soulmates, right? Which usually, uh, I'm not sure if there's normally three of them or something on those lines. They, they, they have some belief, or maybe that's just a manga I read. And I'm getting completely and utterly confused. Because there are a lot of mangas out there. And they cover a lot of weird things. But anyway. Or Manwa. If you're Korean. Hi there, Captain Comply. Uh, do you know where Tengri is? Ah, you come to a good time, boy, you see? I've got to stop giving him Welsh accent. That's for sure. That sound. Ah. Tengri! Behold! He's a sight for sore eyes and no mistake! He stopped snivelling and took to the skies again not long after you left. Like magic it was. Wait, you meddling dogs did so while my back was turned, didn't you? Well, it's a little hard to explain, but we went to another world and Oliver helped the Tengri there get better. All you need to know is that Oliver's magic is the reason that Tengri is flying again. Ha 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 ha! Still spouting nonsense, I see! But no matter! You did as you said you would! I'll not question your methods! Hehe! <laughs> I had no idea the real Tengri was so lively! This is how dragons should be! Hmm! Seems he's taking a liking to you! And after all my hard work! Gah! So be it! I know when I'm beaten! He's yours! You're his master now, lad! You and he both know it already! What? Really? But... What's the matter, Worm? Not good enough for you! No, no, no sir! F thank you very much, Captain Kabli, sir! Ha 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 That's settled then! Tengri lads, say hello to your new master! Kya! Kya! Hey hey, nice to meet you too, Tengri! Likewise, I'm sure. Alright, let's go find the magic stones! Set us southwards course, lad! You'll happen upon Solitary Isle soon enough! Kya! Swain is such an obvious thrill seeker. Look at him change from his Dara mode. Here we go. We are driving. Flip it, Nora. Is this high enough for you, Ollie boy? Hi -oh. Since the smallest mistake up here will result in sudden death, I reckon now's a good time to give you Captain Trippy's don't crash course and drown flying. Don't worry, man. If you survive the first five minutes, there's nothing to it. You just change directions with elastics and use the right sticks to have a good look around in it. Oh, and when you want to plonk your feet back on solid ground, press X. You'll see a circle appear. Use the left stick to shift the circle to where you want it, then press X to land on that spot. If you change your mind you want to carry on flying, press circle. Just be sure to watch the colour of the circle. If it's blue, you're right to land, but if it's red, you'll have to find somewhere else. 
Once you had enough of being back on the boring old ground, honking that dragon horn pirate face gave you, the Tengri will come flapping. Just press up, and you'll give it a good old pop. Enough of my yammering. Let's enjoy a dragon's eye view of the world, eh? Hey, indeed, we obtained the dragon horn. Wee, we got a dragon. He can fly around. Whoa, swoopy doopy doo. Anywhere we want, and it seems we're very near Old Father Oak, so why don't we just pay a visit, eh? Okay, uh, we want to land here. Hi then, Old Father Oak, what do you have to say about our new dragonish companion? I bet it dumped us there for a reason, but now we can, like, really explore the world. Properly explore the world. And at fast, high speeds as well. Which makes doing all the side quests brilliant, makes doing all this and that brilliant. We'll just bust through it now. And it also makes finding the weird little... Well, you remember that a couple of episodes ago in, that, in the Wizard's Companion? Yes? I'm missing my words a little bit. Now let's have a look here. See all pages... What is it? Page... Somewhere around 272, is it not? Or, no, obviously not. What, what page was it again? The one with the weird picture. Aha! Excellente! Where we zoomed in, and it showed us this little secret little thing. We'll actually add another check at this page, right? After seeing the hidden monster that's secreted away over here. So these seem to be some kind of special monsters, I think, possibly? But if you look around a bit more, just closely enough, at other parts of the page, I think you can see more. Or maybe you can't. Ah, here we go. I knew I found more last time. There's some kind of weird dinosaurish type monster up near Alma Moon. There's... I think there's more on this as well. You just have to look at the right things and just wait for it to load, in general. I found those two and there were more as well when I looked before. There we go. There's all these secret things hidden around on this page where you can find little monsters as long as you can find where they are. So we can maybe do a little bit of hunting for that, eh? Don't know what's going on here exactly, some weird guy with a key. But there's all these things around and I've already found one of the islands. We're boating around and it has a monster in it called a Toko. Which I'm sure anyone who's played the games knows exactly what I'm talking about with that one. So let's go check out a Toko. Or two. Or three. Because supposedly they give a ton of XP. Until we meet again, journey safely. Really? You don't have anything to say about me getting the massive dragon? Honest to God? Okay then. Well, we'll vacate this place. Might be faster than simply walking, after all. I can't believe he doesn't want to say anything about me getting some massive dragon. I mean, that surely that's noteworthy news. Right then, journal. What other quest do we have to do at the moment? Of course, we've got a proposal postponed. How many man has suddenly become terrified of the mo woman who need wants to marry? But we need to find more pieces of heart before we do anything. We've left things in a good state. We need to still find the forest alchemists, the kind of alchemy ingredients. We've got our bounties done. We just have to give them in. So we're looking pretty good. So let's head to Ding Dong Dell, eh? Pop on my horn. We could use the travel spell to get there, but look, we got a dragon. We're gonna use it. To be honest, it's not exactly taking a long time to move around by a dragon anyway. Tidy, as Drippy would say, pretty much. Right, let's turn in those bounties. And have a little bit of a look around with the skies, eh? I wonder if there's any more pieces of heart or any more quests that have appeared. Seeing that we've completed that section. Something tells me that obviously it probably didn't because, well, Mr. Old Father Oak didn't actually move on in his general storytelling. He doesn't want to know what we have done. We are disinteresting to him. Terrible. It's a dragon! Surely you want to learn about a dragon? Surely you can give us a tale that involves a dragon? Hello, oh, sir! We want to claim our bounties and get our rewards. Some more money would be great, thank you, and noble attire on top of that. Lots of lovely stamps. Hmm, plus another is a bonus, thank you, sir. 
Between those two bounties, that's one whole stamp card complete. Free cappuccinos is never bad either. People saying, I can buy all this stuff around. Any more bounty hunts? No? Any more errands? So we can continue on with the story straight away? Amazing. Brilliant. Or maybe not. Still those errands, of course. We can't do them just yet. Right. Let's check the merit board again still. I want to check my merit awards, sir. We've got ourselves one merit stamp card collected for. Right, so we can turn in another one then. Right, we've got Jackpot here, Jack a Pinch, and a new one here. Flat Jack. Allows you to give Tengri a speed boost by pressing circle while flying. So that allows us to collect any glims that remain at the end of a battle, lowers the cost of continuing a game following a defeat, we never intend to die. So that's useless. Should we get the Tengri one for now and then get the other one when we got another stamp card, seeing we want to move around quite fast? Let's get Flapjack. People with more troubles than they can swallow will post it on the errand board, we know, sir. And we have no time for that. Let's go find us a Toko or two. And then there's the other thing that I completely missed when we were doing our side questeries. I completely forgot to go to Solomon's Battle Arena. Why did I not do that? I don't know. I just completely looked it over in the end. No clue why I did. Just completely forgot about it. Let's try and find ourselves some rare monsters, eh? There's a Toko. And then there's that weird... Scaly dinosaur thing near our moon. Hopefully these guys aren't like ridiculously strong and powerful because we could be biting off more than we chew Now we got the speed up there and There's no enemies in the sky just a couple of birds right, Let's check the whole map here. Our one for that. That's right Toko Island if I'm correct in saying He's upwards Did a little bit of boat exploration and found it. So it should be, if I'm right in saying, right here. If there is a Toko at all. But this island's interesting in other ways. Because if you look up there, that's Lamol. So what this island has to it is all your starter kind of, you know, familiars. For you to be able to recollect again. And therefore, you know, train them up as you see fit. Say you want to min-max your character a little bit, that, that hurts. You can come and train them up from scratch, train them up to max level so they get full stats. And then you're all set. Umbalima goes down. Excellent. Seems Bognana's beating up a mighty boy there. Poor might. Better luck next time. A little bit of experience, a little bit of grinding, probably couldn't do us any harm right now. Especially if Lamal actually levels up more himself and gets more defense and attack. Really want him to be on the front lines! So where's the rest of the enemies on this island then? The main problem of course is that now we've unlocked an airship equivalent, we really need to be fearful, biting off more than we can chew and landing on, you know, an island that we don't want to land on. Seems to be just Lamals around, not Tokos. So I'm going to get us in a battle with a Toko, guys, so stay tuned. And so finally a Toko has spawned on the island. As you can see he's the guy in the middle running around, but the problem is, is that he can see us from a mile off and will easily run away at super high speed. Oh no, as long as Mike doesn't catch me, that is. Quite good as long as Mike doesn't catch me, Mike don't do it. Mike is no longer chasing me, where's the Toko gone in fact? Okay, we'll turn around for now, we don't want it running away fully. We'll grab you down here sir, got you in the end. So this is the mystical nothing. Toko, one of the beasts that are listed in the book. We need to get rid of it straight away. Or at least we want to defeat it ASAP. And you'll see why at the end of this fight. As for early characters, supposedly it is the best way to grind. And even Lamal's out in the front there. So obviously he's leveled up enough to be very, very potent and powerful. Look at the experience. 
And look at the levels total up. Everyone leveled up, in fact, from Otoko. One Ember Stone as well. And a lot of overall statistics. Really, really hard to catch one, in fact. It can take you hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of goes. Well, that is the mysterious Toko. Esperlin chat there. Vignana 21, Vix 29, Gogo 22, Swain 35, Jack 28. Jack learned Petrifying Poke. Good for Jack. Gemma reached level 33. Lamal reached level 19. And gained a fair few stats. So the mysterious Toko is there. Uh, uh, uh. Pop, pop, pop. We will escape. Well, let's head over to our moon in the trials, as it were. See if we can spot ourselves one of those dino friends, eh? Where exactly is Alma Moon from here by air? Okay. We've learned everything by sea, now we have to change perspective. And learn everything a different way. Supposedly one of those beasties is up on high on the rocky parts, is what it's shown us. In fact, I'm pretty sure I've seen one before around this area. Because we've walked past and I've seen something up there. No monsters appear to be spawning. Well, we're currently flying on Tengri. We can land up top. The worrying part is, will the monsters be super strong up here? I can't see any at the moment. Not a single one has spawned. I was hoping to see one of these more special guys, but not really having much luck with that, am I? Ah, just over there on the horizon. Can't call Tengri from here? Well, that's annoying. Now, will it stay there is the question. If we land, we'll be able to face it. Indeed we will. This is a Dinoceros and Underwrite Bum. This could be a very, very hard battle, I feel. This could not go our way. Get rid of this bunch of first. Go for the Dinoceros in a second. Get rid of the non-special beasties first and foremost. We blinded one of them, so that's pretty good there. But they're not that special, they're not that hard, really. Smacking one down without any issue. Defeated. Yet more special beasties it. shown in the booklet. They look kind of cool, to be honest. I don't give much experience, however. Any good items? A Babada Flan. Well, Burknana will really like that. Let's drop down now for the trials, eh? There's two of the beasties found in the mystical page of the book. I wonder how many people must have looked at that page, by the way, and not seen it at all. Not seen anything of like that. It'd have been a bit weird, really. It is kind of properly secret. Unless you're observant, you'd completely miss it. But what's going on in here? Okay, there's lots of people. Are these the trials competitors? You're familiar, are you, sir? My neighbour Tom Taro. Okay, don't know what that's from. He's being too, too hot here. Yes, it's not being fair on we poor Tom Tay. Poor my neighbour Tom Toro. Won't save our progress. We'll talk to you, sir. Welcome back, you lot. Well, what do you think? Things are pretty lively around here these days, aren't they? That's because I'm holding the most amazing contest in the universe, the Solosseum series. Familiar keepers have come from all over the world to pit their be best beasties against each other. It's the hottest ticket on four continents. Speak to Mbopa for all the boring details. Hope you wimps don't embarrass yourself too badly. We don't either, anyway, Mbopa. You came. Mbopa has been waiting. Mbopa is tired of waiting. But now it is time! It is time for the Solosseum series! Here only the strongest familiars fight! The rules are simple, and Bopa will explain. Fight familiars! If you win, fight some more, then fight some more, understand? The Solosseum series has six ranks, rank E, D, C, B, A, and S. Six, understand? Good! Many rank to get prizes, and money! Do you hear the great big lump? Money! Prizes! Is anyone else starting to get fired up about this? I guess it does sound pretty exciting. But do not forget, you cannot use items in the Solosseum series. Now it is time to begin. Let's give it our best shot. Do we have to start at the lowest rank? Or we can choose any rank we want, but obviously makes sense to start at the lowest. 
If you are injured, Umpapa will heal you. Fight with all your might. Let's try the first round of the Solosium. I wonder if I get experience. It's all about leveling up those characters. You could just grind on those Toko for a while and level up quite fast, to be honest. Round one, the Dell Dwellers. Looks like we'll be your first opponents. Don't underestimate us just because we're small. I'm small too. And they seem to be starter familiars, more or less. So I don't know how easy this will be or not. Let's send Moro out. I'm underestimating them. Look, Nana comes in with a massive spell there. Moro can send out the rest. You confused, Ruff. Don't worry, Moro will sort you out. The quick attacks. Keep going, Moro. No, don't get hit. Slash it to bits. Moro is victorious. It's a gift. You win. Give me experience as well. That's what I want. Ah. You didn't have to take it so seriously. We're only little, you know. So am I. Next you shall do battle against us, Top Babana. Round two is the guy with a fancy moustache that doesn't grow in the middle. We are the Babana merchants of Almamu. We fight so that the world may know the delight of all things Babana. They sound like someone I know. Send a Babana out against them. Oh my god, they've got a billion Babanas! I feel like the crowd might be cheering against me here, if you know what I mean. Take out the yellow buncher! What the, the, the That's me! Right, uh, well, I can get multiple heals, that's always good. Burn it! So we actually do more damage if we attack normally. Ah, oh, poor mighty boy! It seems like Gogo's doing really well on those. And ah, oh, <laughs> too many bananas! Oh, one joins the fray! Attack the other one. Whee! He's nearly down. No, I t oh, okay, he's down. Come on, guys, we can do this. Great. I'm swaying there, shadow boxing in the background. Zar Babana Bunch wins. Banana is the king banana. A wonderful performance. Would you perhaps be interested in doing some promotional work for my Babana stool? Maybe. Hi, ah, it would seem we are to be your next opponents. Needs to say the prize money on offer is of little consequence to us. Mr. Gilderberg. Oh, not you, sir. It's a very posh looking lad in the corner. Well, you shall nevertheless accept it should we win. We did not amass our fortune by looking gift horses in the mouth after all. Okay, <laughs> you've got a Dinosaurus. Um, dangly fish guy. And whatever. Right, I feel like we should actually send out strongest familiars because of the fact that... Man, I got bashed up a little bit and stuff. Oh, health is continuing over each battle. Okay, that's nice to know. The problem is when everyone pulls out healing familiars, we don't get any damage done. Now you can keep chasing me, Dinosaurus. That's fine. I'm making sure everyone's fine while Birknana takes on Danglerfish. Nicely done, Lamal and Burke. Birk. The pass. Ah, ah. I seem to be chained by spells repeatedly here. I'm not sure I like it. Meanwhile, while everyone's chasing me bit by bit because of my healing, everyone else gets to do some really nice damage to these slow lumbering beasts. Ow! Come here, move your trunk. Come here, Nelly. Jack and Burke Nana go to work on the other one. Yes, you, you finish off that fight. I'm gonna top myself up a little. Better luck next time. Another round one. I wonder how many rounds we have to do in the series. Rank E cleared. Ah, only three.
impressive! How about you come and work for me as my bodyguards? I'll double, no triple your current salary of zero, saving the world salary. Or one coin, if you know what I mean. <laughs> You have one rank of you, well done. Here's your prize. A dragon tusk and 2,000 guilders. Is a dragon tusk a sword or what? Good luck in the next rank. I thank you, sir, but I think the next rank might be a bit too challenging for us right now. Didn't really work out my favor. Let's put on some little, well, I don't really need to put on these attachments on these guys. What is a dragon tusk? Is it a sword? No. Is it a spiky thing? A spear is the correct word. No, but that is an upgrade for you, sir. I must have bought them and then forgot to put them on. Dragon tusk, aha! It actually does up your damage quite a bit. A dragon fossil carved into the shape of a tusk. The sound of a strong wind can be heard coming from within. An upgrade for you, sir. Don't I have another guy who needs spears? You, you, sir. Would you like this? It's probably a very good upgrade. Indeed it is. We got the Noble Attire as well. It lowers magic defense, ups physical defense. So that's so-so, as it were. Is there anyone that would be good on? Kagul, Noble Attire, no. We got the Kagul as well, Great Shield, Gale Robes. To be honest, Gale Robes just seems to be better all in all. We lose too much magic defense for the extra defense we gain there. Oh well, we cleared rank E on the Solosseum series. I'm going to go off and probably capture one of those dinosaurs because they look cool. And that's basically how I choose my familiars. Cool looking guys. So I'll see you next episode for more Nino Kuni. Bye bye.